always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back to News 15 at 6. This is what we're tracking in your forecast here tonight. Fog is going to develop, so that's going to be kind of the big thing here going through the next few days when you wake up in the morning time. You're going to need to be a little mindful of that fog. We saw a lot of it this morning. We're also looking for a warm, windy and cloudy Sunday. Now next week, those rain chances are going to jump up pretty quick. So our Queen City of the Tesh Camera New Iberia right now, we're atop the Community First Bank building and you can see those kind of grayish skies. At times it does appear like we could see some rain, but that's not going to be the case. We are still quiet. There's nothing on radar and our temperatures have reached 78 in Ville Platte, 77 in Opelousas and in Lafayette, 79 in Bro Bridge. We at least got into the 80s this afternoon, but satellite and radar showing that we have widespread cloud cover filtering on in from Texas. You can also see a developing line of showers and storms. That is of what's eventually going to bring us some rain in the days ahead. For today, though, and well, the rest of today and into the overnight hours, I'm looking for a lot of clouds. Now, after midnight, this is where we're going to start to see that fog building on in, and tomorrow morning, likely going to see a lot of dense fog across the area, very similar to today. Now, this futurecast does have one or two sprinkles for tomorrow. I'm not expecting any heavy rain, but don't be surprised if you feel a little drop on your face or something. It's not going to cause any issues for the Boudin Fest there for the final closing day. Sunday at 8 p.m., still seeing a lot of cloud cover out there. Now, by Monday, will we turn our attention to the solar eclipse and rain chances? The eclipse not looking that great for our area, at least for viewing, because we're going to have a lot of clouds and already starting to pick up some rain chances there. Right around the time of maximum eclipse around 146, seeing a lot of those showers out there. And they finally go away for the evening, but still tracking those grayer skies. For the next 12 hours, we're watching our temperatures here dropping through the 60s, but they're going to put on the brakes after midnight. This is where we're going to see that fog develop, a lot of cloud cover, holding in the mid 60s for those overnight lows with a sticky feel. Southeasterly winds around 5 to 10 miles an hour. For tomorrow, 82, cloudy, windy, those winds around 15 miles an hour. We'll see gusts to near 30. And then as I mentioned, for the solar eclipse, it starts around 1226, Max is at 1.46 p.m., where we will see nearly 90% of, of the sun covered. But unfortunately, all this red indicates cloud cover or poor viewing conditions. Not great for our area, unfortunately. Those rain chances, though, will continue as we head through the next few days. And Wednesday, in particular, we're going to be looking for the potential of severe weather. There is a low-end chance on Monday out to the west. But Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be watching for that severe threat here. So after we get through the solar eclipse, watch Wednesday morning in particular for the possibility of all severe weather and flooding. We'll keep you up to date. Jeff. Thanks, Adam.